Do you want to design a great campaign portrait banner? In this video, I will show you how to do it. Hi everyone. Welcome. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Let's design this great campaign banner together. Do subscribe and share this video to your friends on social media so they can learn great stuff with you. I will start the design with setting a blank page with the following dimensions, resolution, color mode and orientation. I will give it a proper name and then hit create. Uh, to have a harmonized and professional design, I will use a set of color palette to guide me through my design. I will open the color palette that I have in my project folder, put it in the corner of my page to easily access later. Here I will save the file and delete the unnecessary layers and everything is set to go. Now I will open a PNG file to a design which is the ESA flag. I drag it to the design page and adjust its position on top of the banner and do little adjustments to set it proper in the top of our banner. Second part of the design is to set color for the background. I will use the dark blue color from my color palette in, in the corner. I will adjust the gradient adjustment layer and play with its colors to get a proper color in the background. Then I will use its layer mask option to remove the upper part of the color from the background so that I can get and see the flag. To achieve this effect, I will use a smooth, soft brush with black color as foreground and start dabbing and go accordingly. If you need further adjustments to the color, you can double click on the adjustment layers icon and make your changes, such as colors, position and intensity of it. You will always have this option and anytime you want to make any changes, you can do it. So the background is relatively ready. I'll import the photo of former President Barack Obama to the canvas, drag it to our design and start working on its position, size, location and any further adjustments. You can have your time and do it according to your design as you wish. Now I need a vivid color background to present the most important information in the banner. Therefore, I will add a rectangular shape, fill it with the red color from the palette. First, place it in the bottom of the banner, set its size and tweak a little bit more and everything is set for the next step. Okay, let's add a little more effect to the dark background. I will take the brush tool, adjust a unique brush shape. This shape gives the top edge of the color a crunchy effect. It looks more vivid and stands out. I set the foreground color to white, select the mask of the layer and start brushing in the upper part of the color to achieve my target. I want to make the background color a little bit lighter and lively to stand out. For this, I will use saturation adjustment layer, wave it to the dark layer of the background, double click on its icon and start to play with hue, saturation and brightness. See the result and when satisfied, I will move on to the next step of this design. Here I am going to add the title, copy the text from my assets file, place it in the text layer, select it, change its font size, location and its color. Then tweak the character behind it to make it fit more in the overall design of the banner.
Here I want to change the view of the wall to a check mark shape. It will give a very attractive impression. First I remove the view from the world. I add the PNG file of the check mark from my assets folder to the canvas, drag it to the design, place it in the location of V, add a white fill color layer from the adjustment layers, clip it to the check mark layer to make it full white. We are almost 60% complete in this design. To better manage elements of our design, I will group all layers of the world word under a name. Then I start to design the name of the president below it. I copy it from my notepad file, place it in its own text layer, increase its size, change its location, letter cases and place it in the right position. Tweak some bits and good to go on to the next step. Okay, I will duplicate the name layer. Let's repeat the previous steps for our next text, the slogan of the sample campaign. All the steps are the same as nature, except that it follows the specification of its own. I will repeat the same steps and work on this part. You should do the same. Here, I am going to work on the overall look of the text. I will work on their spacing, their shadows, put some gradient overlay on the slogan, mask out the background color from some of the letters of the word word. If there is any adjustment requirement here, I will do a look from top to bottom and do little tweaks to make them stand out and fit together better. After spending some minutes looking to the overall combination of the elements on the design page, I have found that the lower part such as the word name in the slogan are not standing out as they should. To make them stand out a little more, I add a separate layer between the image of Barack Obama and the red background. In this layer, I am going to add some dark shadow color to separate them a little more. I will take a smooth soft brush dubbed with dark color until I am happy with the result. It is a trial and error process. You should do it carefully so that you should not overdo it. To me, the flag looks a little dull. To make it vibrant, I am going to add a little saturation by adding a saturation adjustment layer and increasing its saturation value a little. It will enrich the flag's color. Do not forget to clip this adjustment layer to the flag layers so that it only affects that layer. I am going to add a separate layer below the layer of Barack Obama and add a shadow for him through using smooth brush in dark color. At the end, I will decrease its opacity so that it looks sat. Now, here I need to add the remaining text to our design. I will copy the text from my asset file and will draw a text box and paste the text into it. Then, I am going to adjust its size, its alignment and its color. 
When finished, I will add a little more space in between the lines of the text and work on each of them separately based on their importance. I will add a little more emphasis on the texts that are more important by increasing its size and put a little more way to it. When finished, we are going to the next step easily. To give this text more readability, I will add a shadow to it by going to its layer style and enable the shadow. After spending some time on the layer shadow settings, I am satisfied with the result. I will hit OK and go to the next step of our design. The final touch for this design is to add more lightening to the character. For this task, I will add a curves adjustment layer on the top of Barack Obama layer and clip it to that layer. Then I will take the hand icon and drag it on lighter areas of his image and as well as shadow areas of his image. It helps to add lightening and shadow to the image. Through this adjustment, the image will stand out more and give a punch to our character. Ok folks, the design is done and is ready to export. I am going to save it to my projects folder and finish this design here. Thank you for watching and learning new skills with this video. Comment your opinion below this video, hit like and share it with your friends on social media. It will give us exposure and let us grow bigger. Have a nice time and take care.